So today I thought I would teach you how to make this beautiful sort of mirrored diamond bracelet. I found this pattern a while ago and I thought it was really cool, so I decided to make a tutorial out of it. Before we start, I do want to say that this isn't a very easy bracelet. I'd probably class it as intermediate. So if you've never made braces before, I definitely don't recommend just going into this. I have plenty of beginner tutorials and my beginner's guide is a good overview to start off with. But that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, before we start, I want to apologize for the lighting. I am currently quarantined in Russia, which is not where I usually am, and I don't have my normal setup so the lighting here is just the window so you're gonna see some shadows from that I do apologize you can also see that I already did the start I did just a simple triangle end here and I do have a separate tutorial on that as well the reason why I don't explain it in every video is because I have a lot of tutorials and if I explain it every time I will get very tired and you will too <laughs> so you can watch a separate video on that if you want to but that being said let's look into how I did the triangle ends so if you look at the pattern you can see that we have eight colors and each of these colors have two strands strings per colour. Each of my strings are about one metre long and I've left about 10 to 15 centimetres under the tape here for the ties later on. If you're going to be doing a triangle end like I am here, which I definitely recommend because I think it looks really good with this pattern, you're going to divide your strings so that you've got one string per colour in each bundle. And then for each bundle you're going to align the strings in the order you want to see them in your pattern. So for me here I've got white, yellow, orange, red, and then I've got the dark blue, slightly lighter, slightly lighter, and slightly lighter blue. So I've got a gradient of blue going on that side. And then on this side I've got the dark blue going into the gradient, so slightly lighter, slightly lighter, slightly lighter, then white, then yellow, orange, and finally red. And this is the point where I'm going to start the tutorial. So we're going to grab the two inner strings, which for me are the white and the dark blue, and we're going to make a forward backward knot between them. So bringing the white string onto the dark blue in a forward backward knot. But you're going to have to be very careful here at the start because you are just connecting the triangle ends. It's not very secure yet, so just very carefully make that knot. Then grabbing that white string that we just made the forward backward knot with, we're going to take all of the strings here to the left of it and one by one we're going to make backward knots onto each of these strings individually until we reach the end of the strings. Alright, so the white string made a connection in the centre and went all the way to the left and now it is our outermost string on the left side. We're going to do the same thing with the bundle on the right. That dark blue string that we did a forward backward knot on, we're going to take that string and we're going to make forward knots onto each of the strings individually that are in the right bundle. So one by one you grab all the strings in the order that they appear and you make forward knots onto them with this dark blue string all the way until the end of the row. And there we go, we've got a dark blue line going off from the centre to the edge as well. We're now going to repeat that exact same motion with the next two strings that are in the centre. So I've got this yellow strand and this slightly lighter blue strand. And it's going to be the exact same thing. We first start with a forward backward knot with the yellow strand onto the blue one. And then with that same yellow strand, we're going to do backward knots onto all of the strings that are in the left bundle, one by one, until we reach the end. And we do the same thing on the other side. The blue string we did the forward backward knot on is going to go to the right in forward knots on each of the strings individually until the end. So essentially what we're doing here is like a reverse chevron but we're starting off with a forward backward knot in the center. All right so the first two rows were exactly the same. This next row is going to be slightly different but also mostly the same. We grab the next two strings that are in the center and for me it is this orange one and this slightly lighter blue and once again we're going to start with a forward backward knot with the orange onto the blue but this time instead of going all the way to the left like we did previously we're going to exclude the string we did the backward knots with last time. So this yellow string that we did the backward knots with is going to be excluded and we're going to do backward knots on all of the rest of the strings going up until the last one here which is the white one but on the last one instead of doing a backward knot we're going to be doing a backward forward knot reversing the string back into the center. So all of these strings we're doing backward knots on but the last one which is this white one a backward forward knot. Thank you. 
So there we go, we just did a backward forward knot with the orange string, so the string is now reversed, and this is the sort of start of the diamond shape here. It's gonna go back into the center. And same with the blue string in the center as well. Instead of going all the way to the right like we did in the previous rows, we're gonna separate the last string we did that with, which is this dark blue string. It's gonna go off to the side, and we're gonna do forward knots onto all of these strings one by one until the last one, onto which we're gonna do a forward backward knot instead, reversing the string back into the center. And there we go, you can see same on this side. This one is now pointed to the center and this one as well is pointed to the center. So we're gonna put these bundles to the side as well. So this one we already put to the side and these two we just did this row with we're also gonna put them off to the side and we're just gonna be left working with the strings that are in the center. The ones that are directly in the center this time are this red string and this light blue string. And we're gonna start off the same way we usually do in a forward backward knot with the red string. And just like last time, we're gonna go all the way to the left on the strings that are left in the bundle. And we're gonna be doing backward knots onto them one by one, except for the last string, which is this one here. And on this one, we're doing a backward forward knot instead, reversing the string back into the center. And then same thing on the other side, this blue string is gonna go all the way to the right on the remaining strings in the bundle. But on the last one, which is this red one here, we're gonna do a forward backward knot instead, reversing the string back into the center. All right, now that this is done, these two bundles we're gonna put off to the side, the ones that we're just working with. And now we're just left with these bundles in the center. I think you can see where this is going now. Same motion as the last time, we just take the two strings that are in the center, start off with a forward backward knot between them. And then same as always, this string goes to the left, doing a backward forward knot on the last one here, pushing it into the center again. And same thing on the right side, forward knots, but a forward backward knot onto this one since it's the edge string. Then we put these bundles away since we just finished working with them and we're just left with two strings in the center now. And for this time, we just do a forward backward knot here. So you can see that we have started the opening to our diamond, the first bit of the diamond is complete. We now just need to close that diamond. And we're gonna start by bringing in the first pair of strings from the left side and the first pair of strings from the right side. So in the last row we did a forward backward knot between these two strings, we're basically just bringing in two more strings, one from either side. And starting with the right pair, the one that's on the outermost side is the white one here, we're gonna go in with a backward knot, bringing the string back into the center and grabbing the leftmost string in this bundle here, which is this dark blue one, we're gonna go in with a forward knot and then connecting these two strings, a forward backward knot. All right, so leaving these bundles here for now, we're gonna grab the two closest strings from the left and the two closest strings from the right. So on the side it's the red and the blue and here it's the orange and the light blue. And we're gonna start with the right side, grabbing the outermost string, which is this light blue. And if you don't know what the outermost string is, it's the one that you reversed here. So the light blue went all the way to the right and then reversed. That's the one that's gonna be the outer one here. And we're gonna bring it back into the center in doing backward knots. And we're gonna be doing backward knots onto each of the strings that are on the right side of the bundle. So we've got three strings here on the right side. So backward knots onto each of them with this light blue string. And then same on this side, we locate the string that's on the outermost edge, and that is the one that we just reversed, so it's the red one, which went out from the center and that was reversed back in. And we're gonna do forward knots onto each of these strings that are in the center, but on the string that we brought in from the right side, we're gonna do a forward backward knot, reversing it back out. So this is essentially a chevron, but the last knot that we do, instead of connecting the two strings, we reverse it back out in a forward backward knot. All right, you can start seeing the shape forming. Now let's grab the next two strings. The closest two strings on the left side and the closest two strings from the right side. Starting with the right side, we're gonna locate the string that's on the outer edge. And again, it's the one that we reversed in the previous rows. And we're just going to do a basic chevron, bringing this into the center with a bunch of backward knots.
And then same thing on the other side, we locate the outermost string, which is the one that we reversed, the orange one. We do a basic chevron into the center with forward knots, but on the last string, the one that just came in from this side, we do a forward backward knot instead. All right, now the diamond in the center is complete and the next row is going to be a little bit different. We are now going into sort of the separator part between this diamond and the next one. That's going to be the sides here, so two sort of triangles, I guess, half diamonds. So for now, we're gonna be working with each side separately. And let's start with the left side. We're gonna bring these strings back into the center and taking the outermost string here, we're gonna go in with a row of backward knots. But on the last string that is on the left bundle, which is this orange one that we just reversed back out, instead of doing a backward knot onto this one, we're gonna be doing a backward forward knot, ignoring the right side completely for now. Now put this entire bundle off to the side and let's bring in the bundle from the right. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, but obviously opposite since it's the other side. Taking the outermost string, we're gonna go in with backward knots onto each of these strings individually, but we're gonna be doing a backward forward knot on the last string in this bundle, which is this light blue. All right, let's put the right bundle off to the side again, bringing in the left bundle. The two strings that took part in the reversal, so the forward backward knot here, we're gonna put them off to the side, which is the yellow and the orange in my case. And we're gonna focus on the remainder of the strings. Grabbing the outermost one, the same exact motion, forward knots until the last string in this bundle, which is the red here. And on this one, we're gonna be doing a reversal knot, so a forward backward knot. All right, there we go, bringing this bundle to the left. Again, the two strings that took part in the reversal in the last row, so these two blue strings, put them off to the side. We're not focusing on them anymore. Grab the outermost string here, which is this dark blue, and we're gonna go in with the same motion, backward knots, but a backward forward knot on the last string. All right, putting this off to the side, coming back with this one. These strings we already worked with, so we're putting them off to the side, focusing on the remainder strings, exact same motion, grabbing the outer one, doing forward knots with a forward backward knot on the last one. There we go, super quick this time, because we don't have that many strings left. Same thing here, but the ones we worked with already to the side, and backward knots with a backward forward for the last knot. Last but not least, we grab just the two outer strings here and we simply do a forward backward knot. As for this side, again, the two outer strings, but a backward forward knot this time since it's the other side. All right, we are nearly done. We've just got one step left in the repeating pattern and then we start from the beginning. So let's start with the right side this time. We just did a backward forward knot with these two. Grabbing the next string, which is the red here, we're gonna do two forward knots. Just bringing that string out again. Then grab the next string that we reversed, which is this dark blue one, and we make forward knots until the end on each of these strings one by one. Grabbing the next string that we reverse, which is the slightly lighter blue, and again, same motion as last time, forward knots until the end on each of these strings one by one. And then we grab the left side and we do the same thing. Grab the next string that was reversed, which is this light blue, and we do backward knots until the end. Grab the next string that was just reversed, and that's the white one here, and we do backward knots with it until the end. And the next string that we just reversed, which is this yellow, backward knots until the end. And that is literally it. You are done with the repeating pattern. All of your strings are now in position for the next diamond. And you're gonna start the same way you started here with a forward backward knot with the two strings in the center and pushing them out towards the sides. So yeah, at this point you can start the tutorial from the beginning if you want to, or you can just go ahead and follow the pattern. You're gonna continue this same motion until you are ready to finish. And if you wanna finish in a triangle end on the other side, I suggest that for the last diamond, you don't make the divider. You just stop when you bring all the strings in 
for the last diamond and at that point you make the triangle end. As for me, I'm going to continue making this bracelet until it's around 14-ish centimeters, which is the length that I prefer and I will see you once I'm done. And there you go. This is what the bracelet looks like when it is complete. There's a bunch of really cool color combinations that you can try with this bracelet and make it look very unique and cool. And I think this is a relatively simple and fun bracelet to make. Before I go, I wanna welcome anybody who's new. During the lockdown period, my channel has grown quite a lot. So a lot of you guys are new. So I'd like to welcome you guys to the bracelet community. It's an awesome place to be. And I never usually ask for this, but we are really close to 100K. And I know that around 70% of you guys watching aren't actually subscribed. So it would a lot to me if you do make the decision to subscribe today so we can get closer to that beautiful round number <laughs> and here you can see my cat who's come to support me in that message <laughs> you want to come sniff you want to come sniff anyway thank you guys very much for watching if you do make the decision to subscribe as well i would be very grateful and i want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names I'm gonna put on screen right now. Thank you very much for your support. And if you also want to become a patron and get exclusive perks for your donations, there is a link in the description where you can sign up. But all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the bracelet that I showed you guys today and I will see you next time. Bye.